we want people all over the world to be able to go to their web browser and actually see, almost in real time, pictures that were taken that day since they woke up all over the world. 24 hours in cyberspace, a wake-up call from the farthest reaches of the wired world. From photojournalist Rick Smolin, the creator of the Day in the Life books. Perhaps his greatest challenge, capturing the diversity of life in cyberspace in a single day. Hello, I'm Mike Saray, reporting from what is appropriately being called Mission Control for 24 Hours in Cyberspace. And like its namesake in Houston during the early Apollo launches, there's the air of excitement, call it nervous apprehension, that comes with trying something that's never been attempted before, using equipment and software that's never really worked together before. On your mark, get set. Capturing extraordinary images from around the world transmitting them back to Mission Control in San Francisco the same day, and editing and publishing them in real time for the world to see on a constantly changing website. This was Rick Smolin's challenge to the best and the brightest in the digital technology business. So we're building the biggest website in the history of the world, and we're doing it to prove all of the technology that's in use here. All right, John, you just made internet history, pal. There we go, quarter to eight. We got your first picture. I'm going to go to the most famous universities in the world, and I get to go all the way around the world. When Andy Valber studied international relations at Cal State, he never got to go anywhere. For two weeks this semester, he gets to go back to school as the ultimate exchange student and internet correspondent. I can't tell you exactly where I'm going because there's prizes involved, but I'm going around the world and I'll be sending back clues and digital images and email and uh, using those clues, you can start looking for me. Uh, and I'll be out there, and I'll be out there every day posting new clues all the time. It's all part of a series of live campus events and ultimate web surfing contest called Escape Back to School. Hosted by Excite, one of the largest search engines and portal sites on the web, it's designed to help students and professionals refine their web researching skills while sharing some real-time adventures in academia. Some people might call these gut courses, I call them my dream curriculum. For Escape 101, Greg Milano's dream assignment is to cross the country taking the most unique courses and extracurricular activities. Well, I was an American Studies major at uh, Georgetown University, and uh, I took the usual American history, American politics, and, uh, but I didn't get into the, uh, the funner side of Americana. And that's uh, so what these courses, what I'm going to be doing is uh, really getting into the, the, the fun and the, the, the cool parts about America, stuff you wouldn't believe. I'd never believed I could take a course on. Like his exchange student colleague, he will be reporting online each day, sending back digital clues for students testing their web searching skills trying to find him. The internet is like a big window. It allows you to see what is outside, but at the same time it also allows you to be seen by the outside world. Are you proud of the country of which you're a citizen? No, not always. Who generally benefits more from being married, men or women? What will happen after you die? I'll go to heaven. Would you like to change from a woman to a man? No. <laughs> Planet Project is the biggest, fastest, most sophisticated, most complex survey of its kind ever attempted. Would you say that one of the main yep. goals in your life has been to make your parents proud? And, and uh, who comes top on that one? On the top, Philippines. Really? The basic idea is to use technology to hold a mirror up to the human race and allow us to look into it and see ourselves in a way that's never been possible before. My first reaction, to be honest, was to be scared. I said, wow, can we really do this? This is by far the, the largest project of the uh, greatest scale that we've ever undertaken. Hello, I'm Mike Saray in Santa Clara, California, and Mission Control for the Planet Project, where the data for this global survey and Vox Populi is being collected and analyzed to produce some fascinating insights to what the world is thinking. For the past four days, this has become a digital town hall, meeting place, and plaza for an incredibly rich and diverse community that could only come together on the internet. Hi, I'm Jackie Chan. Do you know why I'm thinking? 
Take the Planet Project pool at www.planetproject.com. From Kung Fu star Jackie Chang in Hong Kong and dumpling maker Tamara Kochikanuva in Siberia to French winemaker Frank de Boeuf in the south of France and police officer Silvio Rodriguez in Mexico City. More than a million people in over 200 countries were surveyed at home, at work, at schools, and in remote locations around the world to get a better idea of what the world is thinking.